health report has been ordered ahead of her next appearance at the High Court in October. The family had just arrived from South Africa, having moved here to start a new life. White Ribbon's Rob McCann says it's deeply upsetting for all of New Zealand, and some may feel overwhelmed. One of the things they might need to do is not to spend too much time looking at horror stories like the one that we're currently experiencing. I'm not saying we ignore them, but I do think people have to understand the effects that it has. 
Firefighters are battling a large house fire in Mochueca near Nelson. Fire and Emergency Southern Communications received multiple calls about the well alight blaze on Selwyn Street just before 6 this morning. Shift manager Alex Norris says two fire trucks were initially sent. Upon getting further information, we responded. Other fire trucks from Nelson, Papua, and Kateri Terry. We're happy to say that everyone has reported the outfit now. We're currently working to uh, extinguish the fire. A reminder to follow the rules as Auckland spends its fifth weekend in lockdown. Another 20 cases were reported yesterday, including a mystery case, and new exposure sites are popping up around South Auckland. People with or without symptoms in Mount Eden, Massey, Mangari, Favona, Papatuitui, Otara and Manurewa are being urged to get tested. Local councillor Daniel Newman says people need to stay in their bubbles and get vaccinated. For those who are hesitant, fall on the side of vaccination because the more people that get vaccinated, the safer we will be. And a warning for businesses to be careful as discussions around compulsory COVID-19 vaccines continues. It's mostly considered unlawful to require staff to be vaccinated or even to ask if they have been. The only current option is to implement alternative working arrangements if there's a risk. Employment relations specialist Maddie McKenzie says employers must be cautious as it's becoming a tricky area. inspired attacker stabbed shoppers at Countdown New Lynn a little more than two weeks ago. Council Chair Manjeet Grewell says they want to stress this was not a faith-based attack. It is an individual who had his own ideology, he, he did that. And it has nothing to do with any religion, any faith group, any, any spiritual group. The vigil also serves to mark United Nationals International Day for Peace on September 21. Dozens of new jobs will be up for grabs in Tokoroa, with one of the world's leading dairy companies coming to the South Waikato town. Singapore-owned Olam Foods plans to build a dairy processing plant there. South Waikato District Council's Paul Bowden says it will create between 50 and 60 highly paid jobs. It gives more options for the farming community in terms of suppliers, uh, processors. I think it's good for competition. The ability to work with a globally connected food ingredients company. News Talks Every Sport. Good morning. The Black Caps could be on a plane home as soon as today, following their cancelled tour of Pakistan due to a security threat. The slate of limited overs matches that were set to begin Friday just gone, with the opening one day it was called off when the security risk of Pakistan had risen in the eyes of the New Zealand government. Reports out of Pakistan claim the PCB's chief executive, Wasim Khan, said New Zealand would return on a chartered flight via the United Arab Emirates. Uh, today, England are already reconsidering their limited overs trip to Pakistan next month, while Australia, who are scheduled to visit in February March, also appear weary. International cricket with generalfinance.co.nz for great secured term deposit rates. All Blacks coach Ian Foster is pleased to see a rotated side trample Argentina in the rugby championship clash in Brisbane. The bonus point 36-13 win lifts New Zealand back to number one in the world rankings, but also gives them a 10-point buffer in the tournament, all but handing them this title with two games remaining. Foster made 11 changes from the side they won the previous week and says the fresh faces stood up. Every team's going to have to dig deep into their well a little bit over the next fortnight. I guess the strategy of how 